It becomes a real concern thanks to real looking $20 bills. It's counterfeit cash that even police say looks authentic, and investigators say more funny money may be out there. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Bad bills found at a Walmart in Fremont, but the concern goes well beyond the Omaha area. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Miranda Christian looks at how to spot the phony money in a store you'll see only on three. Miranda. Police say sometime this weekend someone spent $100 worth of counterfeit money. They're worried that this isn't the, this isn't the only fake cash they're going to see. Five counterfeit $20 bills were passed this weekend at the Walmart in Fremont. Police say the suspect used one of the 20s for one transaction. Probably uh, testing the waters to see if they can get away with it. Um, and then another uh, transaction for about $80. Detective Aaron House says at first glance, these fakes look like the real thing. They look like they've been used, so they're pretty good copies as far as um, just on site. It's not the look of the $20 bills that make them seem fake. It's the tissue paper feel on them. Money has a, a very, very distinct feel to it. The paper that, that money is printed on, on U.S. currency is uh, very unique. I snapped a picture of one of the fakes next to a real 20, then asked people if they could tell the difference. Which one is the real one? I'd say the top one. Both of them look kind of similar. But I would suspect the bottom one. Detective Howe says two sets of the 20s also share the same serial number, and one of them has a counterfeit pen marking on it. Right now they're trying to figure out who used the money in the store. Usually a group of people that are passing through, um, they'll uh, kind of uh, pass their money and then it's on to the next town. Um, or it's, it's someone local. Um, that just needs a quick buck. Shoppers weren't surprised to hear about the counterfeit cash being used. It's been going around. You know, yeah. I've, I've had a business here for about 20 years, and uh, so we've always been cautioned about taking counterfeit money. Police say they're worried there's more of this phony cash out there. These usually come trickling in. There's, it's not just a one-time deal. Police say they are working with Walmart to get surveillance of the suspect. They said they have to go through a weekend worth of transactions of $80, and that could take another day or so. Live in studio, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News.